Hey there guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Fortnite and we're going to be comparing the different APIs that the game can actually run on because the game actually has support for DirectX 11, DirectX 11 essentially running in a performance mode and then it has DirectX 12. Now both of these APIs, the, rather the performance one and the DirectX 12 one are still marked as beta so they are going to have some issues. What you're looking at right now is the game just running at the performance preset so you can see that the textures on it everything are are very very flat there's very little detail to everything it's literally all just meant to be as utilitarian as possible here and while the average that we're getting is very good those one percent lows are very brutal and looking at the frame times it's really not a good experience here and the game is running of course at 1080p resolution here and we do have the tdp set to 25 watts to pretty much maximize the performance and to potentially alleviate any of these one percent low issues but you can clearly see that while we are getting some very solid averages it's just dropping down to as low as 20 fps is ridiculously bad and it can make playing the game very very difficult aiming can be sometimes just very hard to do it'll be just difficult to control things especially when things get very very hectic so overall i would say that really the performance mode while seemingly giving great averages just does not give good enough performance at least at 1080p but we could take a look at the other apis to see if the beta status of this one is an indicator of these issues so we're going to move over to directx 11 so with just the native DirectX 11 API, you can see here we actually have some grass and there's a little bit more detail to everything, but we end up, of course, sacrificing a lot in terms of our averages and our 1% lows actually end up being pretty much somehow worse. Didn't think it could really get worse than 20, but I guess 15 really just came in and just blew my mind on how bad things could get. So overall, really, DirectX 11 also was not impressing me at all. And it really just seems like Fortnite seems to just have issues running on this chip in general, and it almost seems API independent. But of course, we can take a look at DirectX 12 to see if maybe the beta status of that is a little irrelevant. Now, some things that I need to point before I move over to DirectX 12 is the fact that DirectX 12, the way that it works is it loads things into a shader cache. So a lot of the times when you play a DirectX 11 or rather a DirectX 12 game, it will perform pretty bad for a little bit, but you just leave it alone, let it load in the, the shaders and suddenly the performance will level out. I pretty much played a few games with the DirectX 12 API just to make sure that that, you know, shader caching was done and that there wasn't going to be any additional issues introduced because of that so let's look at what DirectX 12 was like and as you can see the numbers that we're getting really did not instill any confidence in me whatsoever we were getting the same issue with one percent lows the averages were better than they were at DirectX 11 but my by not a significant margin in the performance mode which is also DirectX 11 just with a very stripped down version of it was providing us a significantly better average it's just the one percent lows were identical here so that extra increase in performance really did not amount to much at all and i'm not 100 percent sure why this game performs so bad on this apu but it's really one of those things where i'm confused because a lot of you guys have told me that the game runs perfectly fine if you use any of the other apis and that the performance mode was essentially the worst one because it introduced this stuttering but i've tried all of them now and they all seem to provide almost very similar one percent lows and at least with the performance mode the averages were significantly higher so you know extrapolate from this what you can Obviously, this is just one test of one specific system. I'll take a look at this running also on the 5600U. We'll see if there's any difference there. It's not going to be a direct video unless there are some interesting findings that I get out of that. So if you don't see any video on that, just assume that it was a complete failure and just go on like that. But yeah, this was a video that I've been wanting to do for a while just because, again, a lot of you guys would mention that the performance API was just not a good choice that, you know, going with DirectX 11 and some of you guys even said DirectX 12 would it be better and that might be the case for your specific system but at least for this one it just was not doing that for me I was just constantly having performance issues here and it really just was not an enjoyable experience all around it's one of those things where if I was a kid and this is all I had I definitely power through it I would have been perfectly happy with this I've played like I, I grew up playing Call of Duty 4 multiplayer on PC with worse performance than this and I had a blast some of my most fondest memories as a kid so it's definitely not awful but it is one of those things where you would hope that the one percent lows would be bad but anyways i will see you guys in the next one